This video is going to be a very short video. It's a part two of the previous video which I uploaded regarding back EMF. Now in that video I showed you exactly what a back EMF spike looks like on an oscilloscope and in this video I'm going to show you what it looks like coming right off the relay coil into a neon lamp. Now how I have this set up, this wire right here is connected to a 12 volt lead acid battery and this is the ground for the lead acid battery. It's going through a simple switch, an on off switch, just push it to click on, click off. It's normally open or normally closed. This was from my military base trip I found this. This is a 24 volt relay coil. The contacts don't close but it doesn't make a difference because the field will still collapse even though the contacts are not closing. This is a fairly large neon lamp. It's a 240 volt. So I'll lay that right there, like that. Now what I'm going to do now is simulate pulses of direct current going into this relay. And what you're going to see, every time that I release power from the relay coil, you're going to see the back EMF, the high voltage spike, show up right here and light up this neon lamp. All right, so I'm gonna grab the switch hold up my hand right here and power will flow into the relay coil when I release the switch you'll get the collapsing magnetic field and what that will do it will light up this lamp so here we go now push it down alright go a little faster now that's exactly what destroys your transistors and your MOSFETs that you want to try and avoid so it's fine going on when it goes off you get that flash. Faster you go. Now it doesn't have to be a relay coil. I'm going to take the relay coil away and use the windings of a transformer. We're going to take this right here. I'm going to use the blue wires. Alright, so this right here is now connected. A little transformer, push it to the side. Now I'm going to send power into that transformer and when power is released, the field will collapse and here we go. So same thing happens in a transformer also as you can see. Different size coils react differently with different spikes. What I did here is I took a 555, a stable, I set it for around 28 hertz and that is going to drive this relay coil and as it's driving this coil you'll see the back EMF that's generated will keep this neon lamp nicely illuminated. So let me put that together. All right, this is set up now. I have the relay coil right here. The triple five circuit is going to turn this relay coil on and off, which is going to cycle this one on and off. So you have one cycling the other. And we're gonna show you, then I'm gonna show you the back EMF on the lamp. So here we go. Look at that. That's just back EMF you're looking at coming off of this coil right here. Now if I touch the diode from the positive of this relay coil to ground, then you will not see any of this high voltage. It will be gone. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Thank you very much for watching.